Although not so used in the game, the GTA V army is extremely detailed and has extremely amazing things. Well, in today's video, I'll be showing you 20 curiosities about the army. In the same way as the last video I made, 20 curiosities about the police, showing several details about the soldiers and the military base itself about vehicles among other things. So you who already know the channel, leave the like right at the beginning of this video and subscribe if you are not subscribed because you know that if not, I'll have to send Franklin after you, right? So that's it guys, let's get started. Well, let's start with the following. Unlike GTA San Andreas in GTA V, you will see four types of soldiers. I'm not talking about different patents, but about soldiers. For example, in GTA San Andreas, there was always the same army soldier. But if you go to Fort Zancudo, you will see that there are four different types of soldiers. As if it were, for example, Air Force, Navy, Riflemen, Army. It's, I don't know the name that is given correctly, but you can notice this detail by looking at their arms. In each arm of a different soldier, you will see that there is a seal. And this seal means if he is from the Navy, if he is from the Special Forces, there is one that is even part of the Ghost Squad. Very cool this detail, even if poorly explored. Starting here for the second is the following. If you fix the level of search on the side of Fort Zancudo, the soldiers will appear first, then the police. It's kind of weird to happen, even because we usually don't have a custom of seeing the soldiers here in the middle of the game, right? Unlike GTA San Andreas, where they appeared when it hit six stars. But yes, they try to arrest you, and if you react, they kill you. In third, in front of the landing strip of Fort Zancudo, there is a plane that fell, which was probably from the army. You can see by the location. It must have fallen by a fault in the turbine or engine, maybe an attack, and made this plane, which is a plane of weapons, have a little package inside and a bag of money. It made it fall a little bit later, probably from the takeoff. The exact reason is not known, but you can see that it is a large plane, and it is a plane that I did not see inside Fort Zancudo. Unlike other GTAs, we have a maximum search level of 5 stars, but the biggest difference is that it no longer has the army when we reach the maximum search level. Who comes after us now is only the special forces, the army no longer comes and I will explain my theory of this a little later. But this has been happening since GTA 4, the army no longer appears when you reach 6 stars of search, or in the case of GTA V, the maximum level of search. The GTA V military are extremely well trained to use RPGs. So much so that if you have ever been flying over the game and ended up receiving a pair of missiles and you do not know where it came from, be sure that most of the time it is not a fighter or a police helicopter, but soldiers using RPGs. They are extremely skilled, that is, they hit easily. Here I am using the code of Super Pula and Invincibility. But just take a look at this hunting walk, the amount of missiles coming after, four bazookas at once. Now going to another, inside Fort Zancudo there is a fireman's body. The curious thing is that there is no fireman here. In theory, there would be military firemen. Even if you set fire to everything, no fireman will appear, neither from outside nor from inside Fort Zancudo. What I thought was a detail that ended up letting it go, I think there should be at least some soldiers who would dress as firemen, even if they did not perform the function. Now there is the following. There is a military truck in the game that we do not usually see in the game. At least I do not remember any part of the game where we see this truck. In addition to being a truck a little more robust, very handsome even, inside the army, it also has a hook for tanks, like a cart. I do not know the name that is said correctly for that. And you can hook up the whole army design, and I do not remember having this in any part of the game, so I do not know why Rockstar put this hidden here in Fort Zancudo, being that we do not see it anywhere and it does not serve for any mission. There is here in the Fort Zancudo interactive scenarios, Scenarios no go there interactive missiles. These missiles, you think it's just part of the scenario, but they explode, guys. And it's not just a type of missile. I think there are two types. They explode with both fire and fire. And it's a very nice detail, right? You think the Rockstar will end up putting there as if it were like, it's not just the object, right? Parade, like the airport items, right? Kind of dead, but no, they made it very, very realistic. Now, you know this cargo bob that is flying over here in the game? Well, if you knock down this cargo bob, of course, without destroying it at once, and you go to check who is his pilot, who should be an army person, you will find out that no, it is not an army guy, but a pilot policeman. You can see it written there, look, police officer Los Santos, LSPD, why that? I don't know. Is there an agreement between the police and the army? I don't know. Still talking about pilots here in the game, if you get a fighter, when it is landing, you will see that the pilot who is in the fighter, he really has a pilot's outfit, which in real life would be a clothes to help protect the pilots against, I think, gravity. I don't know, something like that, right? I don't know exactly what it would be. However, 
if you can knock down a fighter in the air, right? Like I knocked down that cargo bob and you go to check the pilot who will be inside will be wearing a soldier's outfit and not a pilot's outfit. And why is that? Well, another question that is out there. Let's go to the next one. If you can shoot a fighter and knock him down, you'll see that the NPC ejects. He uses the ship ejection system. Look at this detail. Although they never have parachutes to have a happy ending, you can see that Rockstar really thought about this detail. The military of the game are the most aggressive force that exists. They hardly miss shots and if a tank comes after you, you probably won't even be able to fall to the ground. This is probably the reason why I believe that there is no longer this army thing and go after you in the middle of the normal game because you wouldn't be basically a pariah for the army. Every time you hit 6 stars, you would end up dying. If you can take a tank out of Fort Zancudo and magically the search level disappears, this tank will not return to Fort Zancudo. He will start exploring the game as if he were a normal NPC. It's a kind of crooked breeze. I don't know why I said that, but the guys get out of it. This same tank, if it sees you committing a crime, the soldier will leave it and try to arrest you. And if you try to run away, be it for any reason, be it by car, by motorcycle, less the foot, the guy will go after you shooting normally. But if you get in a car, the soldier will go back to the tank and he will be a little aggressive with you, exploding you and everything around him like without any remorse, that is, a slightly exaggerated reaction. If a soldier is attacked by an NPC, whether on purpose or not, he will have the freedom to kill this NPC and he will kill quickly. The guy goes with a machine gun and kills everyone. The guy doesn't even want to know. And no police or anyone to try to help, not even the paramedics show up. It's a bit of a nightmare, but the army is awesome. In the same way that the police do, if the army needs it, it will confiscate the car of an NPC, and that's it. They will steal, put the guy out. It doesn't matter what vehicle the NPC is using, or I don't know where he is going. If a soldier needs it, he will act exactly like the police and steal the NPC to chase you. Another cool thing is that if you go up to the top of the Fort Zancudo Tower, you will see a special NPC inside. This NPC would be a soldier with a very high rank. Sometimes you will see this black guy up here. You can see that he has several medals and such. Or you can go up and have a colonel or a general of the army. Because when you enter the director mode, you can see exactly what the name of this patent is. You can also see it by the soldier's clothes, which are not soldier's clothes. Look, he's a general of the army. Well, although there is a machine gun in our tank, which we can steal from Fort Zancudo for some reason, which I do not understand what it would be, we cannot use this of this machine gun, at least not in story mode, okay? Online mode, the conversation is another. Well, but we cannot use it. Even if you try or do other things, you will not be able to. If you are using mods, if you are playing on a computer and you have access to mods, you can probably release this function and play, which I believe would be for two people in the tank. One controls the missiles and such, while the other can control all the machine gun and everything else. But I think you should have the option of at least using the machine gun, even if you were not in the tank. Now a very bizarre thing is the following. Unlike the normal games that make us believe, in the GTA V army, they are usually using AK-47 and not the M1 to M4 weapons that are common weapons in the US army. I don't know if you can see this detail, but if you look a little further and look at the weapon of the soldiers, you can see that it would be an AK and not an M4, which would be common weapons in the game. Something that made a lot of people think because normally the weapons of the army, especially the American army, which is what we see the most in games, are M4. So why did Rockstar put an AK? It would be a joke, a parody, something like that. I was a little clueless, but I thought this detail was really cool. Now let's go to the following. If you start the Crystal Maze mission by the Function Repeat mission, you can access Fort Zancudo without the army catching you. For some reason you don't call the police's attention during this mission, the game goes into a flop and the police doesn't work and the army doesn't work either. So you can get in here and steal a hunt quietly. I've already made a video talking about it and I think it doesn't work in the old generation which would be a PS3 and Xbox 360. If you try on the Xbox 360 and PS3 and it doesn't work for you, try to do the same scheme with the Klitos mission, that mission where we have to shoot at the tires. Restart the mission and enter Fort Zancudo to steal a hunt and be happy. Now the bonus is the following, which is curiosity number 21. Trevor was already part of the Canadian Army. He wanted to be a pilot of the Canadian Air Force, and for some reason he was disqualified in the psychological test. The doctors said he was mentally unstable, like Trevor. Trevor is the most dangerous guy we know. He wears a coat, steals other people's stuff, bites people in the middle of the street, looks like a cannibal. That doesn't mean he's mentally stable. It means he's healthy. This is today's video. 
I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, or I'll have to send Trevor after you with a hunt. See you in the next video. A hug and bye.